Sadika wa come to Thailand today here or on MBT World. The National Legislative Assembly passed a cyber security law amidst the widespread concern that it gives too much power to officials to violate people's privacy for the sake of national security. The proponents say it will protect online content. According to the bill's drafter, the new cyber security legislative mainly focuses on national infrastructure not online content as feared by some critics. Purinya Hom Anik of National Legislative Assembly's Cyber Committee and Pai Boon Amon Pinyo Kiet, an advisor, said the legislative is aimed to protecting banking and ATM technology, electric city, waterworks, telecommunication, internet, airport, the other public transport and infrastructure. They insist that, that the new law will not usually affect the general public except those involved in threatening the security of these critical public infrastructures. But India and Peibun say critics had disseminated misinformation about the legislative by heightening the potentially negative consequences on people's rights and privacy. In most cases, authorities would be required to seek a court approval to search, spy on, and hack computers and network if they believe a critical national infrastructure is at risk of cyber attack. They said, however, in the event of the national emergency, authorities are empowered to do their work without prior court warrants. National emergencies are clearly defined in the law and include sabotage, they said. The cybersecurity legislative was passed by the National Legislative Assembly by 133 votes with 16 members abstaining. NLA members spent more than two hours debating the details. The bill's final version was vetted by an NLA committee chaired by Sawani Subhanachi. The Ministry of Digital Economy and Society, DE, has dismissed criticisms that the newly approved national cybersecurity law will infringe upon the people's privacy, saying that the new law will secure the country's criti critical infrastructure. DE Permanent Secretary Acherin Patana Panchai said on March 1, 2019, that the new legislative aimed to protect critical national infrastructure or public utilities, banking and financial services and transportation, etc. From cyber attack, she said under such legislative, officials cannot access people's personal data because they will need court approval first. Court warrants are also required to search and confiscate computers allegedly used in moves to damage the country's digital infrastructure. The law puts cybersecurity threats in three categories. The first is not critical, so no special measures are required other than surveillance. The second level warrants a search of the computer network and other measures which require court approval. In the third category, actions against threats that are deemed serious and likely to hurt public interest on a wide scale will be taken in line with the National Security Council law. Jolongkorn University has organized a seminar on the new cybersecurity law to discuss whether the legislative is aimed at protecting or controlling online space the forum has been held at the campus Jamjuri building on March 7, 2019. Dr. Suti Tuwirat, Committee of the Information System Security Association, said the legislative is aimed at the eight agencies related to critical information, infrastructure or CII, and not the people. He said the law is aimed at protecting banking and ATM technology electricity, waterworks, telecommunication, internet, airport, and other public transport and infrastructure. As cyber attacks 
have become an existential threat to many countries. Cybersecurity legislation is under development in most countries and is generally scattered over different areas of law. Meanwhile, Dr. Ram Hiranyapruk, chairman of the subcommittee for policy and impact of the Electronic Transactions Commission, said in the past, Thai laws have authorized state agencies to spy on networks if they believe critical national infrastructure is at risk of cyber attack. At the event of the national emergencies, authorities are empowered to do their work without prior code warrants. National emergencies are clearly defined in the law and include sabotage. Experts said Thailand does have a real cybersecurity problem on its hands. The country's decline in global surveys monitoring online threats has underscored the need to strengthen its defenses. One study found that online safety had dropped since 2016 and a result of ransomware attacks, malware infections and spam emails. The government therefore needs to enact a legislation to protect country's internet infrastructure. Throughout the world, news reports on the results of incredibly effective cyber attacks ranging from small companies to nation states are almost daily. Cyber attacks have become an existential threat to many countries as uh, attacks on the financial services to power generation facilities threaten the fidelity and integrity of numerous industrial segments. Next part, we will talk with Dr. Pichet Durongkawe Road, is a Minister of Digital Economy and Society to help us better understanding of the importance of the Cyber Security Act to secure our national infrastructure. Coming back after a short break. In 2019, Thailand is ready for ASEAN chairmanship, working together and building solidarity to increase competitiveness and innovation with the people at the center. All sectors are ready to promote unity of the ASEAN community. NBT World is excited to be a full supporter of the Thai ASEAN Chairmanship. Keep up to date on ASEAN 2019 movement with NBT World. Welcome back to Thailand Today here on NBT World. As the National Legislative Assembly recently passed the cybersecurity law amid the widespread concern that it could violate proper people's privacy for the sake of the national security, our program has invited Dr. Pichet Durongkawe Road, Minister of Digital Economy and Society, and to help us to better understand the importance of the Cybersecurity Act to secure our national infrastructure. Swadika. Swadika. Welcome back to Thailand Today program, sir. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> Thank you. So important. We're going to talk about this act today. But uh, before we get into anything else, so what are actually the cyber threats, sir? Well, let's step, step back a little bit. Please, sir. Okay. And yeah. uh, it's not only Thailand, it's mm -hmm. the whole world mm -hmm. that uh, is experiencing mm -hmm. uh, the so called cyber security issue. Yes, sir. Uh, the, the original uh, uh, rationale mm -hmm. is that uh, the widespread uh, advancement mm -hmm. of uh, digital technology mm -hmm. uh, leads the way for a lot of activities, mm -hmm. right? Uh, both the benefits for the economic development, exactly. uh, for startups, mm -hmm. uh, for social development like mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. digital health, mm -hmm. and so on. So mm -hmm. it has provided a lot of uh, new uh, environment, mm. ecosystem, mm -hmm. uh, as well as uh, uh, actually career and profession. Mm. Uh, while this is going on, uh, we, we also must recognize that uh, we have to take care of the side effects, mm. which are many. Mm. Uh, we can talk about cyber bullying, uh, mm. trying to protect mm. our young people from mm. being bullied online. Ah. 
yeah. we can talk about uh, how <coughs> disparity mm. that will be caused by digital divide mm -hmm. uh, can mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. We also can talk about uh, how we can encourage uh, villages to do mm. e-commerce. Mm. So all these are happening within a very short span of time. Mm -hmm. uh, compared with what happened a uh, hundred years ago mm -hmm. when we experienced uh, electricity, mm -hmm. when we experienced uh, TV, mm -hmm. uh, when we experienced uh, automation in the factory uh, and so on. Mm -hmm. So what's happening uh, in, in this regard is that uh, the social ills mm -hmm. or the side effects also mm -hmm. cover those uh, improper uh, entities Entity, and behavior uh -huh. mm -hmm. that uh, can create damage uh, to both individuals and society. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, mm -hmm. when we talk about cybersecurity that you have uh, introduced, uh, we we are talking about the bigger picture first. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. the bigger picture is that uh, recently, and by recently, I am talking about three years, five years uh, before. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the whole world yes. has experienced the fact that there have been the so-called cyber attacks mm -hmm. to a lot of societies. Mm -hmm. Sometimes many many societies at at one time, okay. right? Okay. Uh, and this comes in a big way. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, to spread the malware. Mm -hmm. Malware mm -hmm. is the virus, virus, uh -huh. malicious software. software right? Yeah. Uh, -huh. uh To spread uh, the uh, uh, the so-called DDoS. DDoS mm -hmm. is something like if if you if you control uh, the whole banking system in the uh -huh. country, uh -huh. and I have some problem with you. Okay. Uh, I create a situation whereby I'm somewhere else, uh -huh. nowhere that you can find me, uh -huh. Uh -huh. because I'm virtual. No need to come with vapors <laughs> like before, <laughs> right? bombs yeah. something. What, what uh -huh. DDoS is all mm. about is mm -hmm. that I start to create a, a small program mm. that can generate traffic, mm. meaning uh, uh, virtual users, okay. that will uh, make requests to your banks, ah. instead of me personally make two requests I make one million requests. Wow. <coughs> okay, uh. it's false requests okay. to your bank, so uh. that other common passengers uh. cannot get into your bank oh, cool. anymore. Uh. This is called DDoS. Uh. Okay, uh -huh. so yeah. uh, it's not only virus. There are many other approaches okay. uh, that can happen. And the reason I mm. use the bank example mm. is that when you talk about cybersecurity, we are not talking about individuals. Mm. Mm. We are talking about too small to infrastructure. Uh -huh. We are talking about right. national security. Mm. We are mm. talking about mm. something that can be harmful mm. to the livelihood of the population mm. Mm. and so on. Mm. Certainly, it will involve in individuals more mm. or less, mm. but that's not the target. Okay. Right, because uh -huh. those who create oh. cyber attacks mm. want something big, mm. Mm. or want something big in return. Mm. Mm. We have experienced that uh, last year or the year before last, uh -huh. Uh -huh. when the uh, uh, malware called WannaCry ah, yeah, yeah. hit hit the uh, global uh, 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 computer, the computer system. system yes. Right, mm. and I I don't have to name names, but uh -huh. uh, many countries suffered because mm. of that uh, wanna mm. cry. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, it's the first time that we started to understand that mm. it's not as simple as cyber attack anymore. Mm -hmm. Because underneath, they also provide a way for you to send money back mm. so that they can unlock mm -hmm. their malware, mm -hmm. right? So oh it's God. a ransomware oh, I see. that we experience. Uh -huh. And this kind of thing uh, does not affect individuals only. It, of it affects the society uh, as uh -huh. a whole. Uh -huh. In that case, it affected the whole national health care system of some countries. How? By this malware. It locked into a what? Do uh, you mean the apparatus or equipment of the well, one, once the used? malware arrived, the network uh -huh. of the national health system, okay. it spread very quickly because we are living in a networking uh, world, uh, yes. right? Uh. And what happened is that this malware would, the virus uh, to put it in a simpler term, okay. uh, uh, lock your data, okay? So the patient's data 
cannot, cannot be, be used. <laughs> oh my God! And and if oh, you really? are the patient, if the doctor uh, is gonna operate on you today, what to do? Something. Uh, I see. That's a big problem. Mm. Okay. Okay. So so this is a point in case where we we have to be concerned uh -huh. as a society. Uh -huh. And we have to protect the society uh -huh. and the population at large. Yeah. Uh, so uh, when you talk about you know infringing this and that, uh, 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 part of those criticisms criticism misses the point. Uh, okay? uh, yeah. From what I've heard, they just go attack to other knocking point no, rather than no, to go the we, direct we, that. We, 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 uh, we must be careful when we talk about mm -hmm. cybersecurity mm -hmm. and it's. Although we accept the fact that mm. uh, as a government, mm. uh, we also need to be careful mm. once we apply the cyber security uh, uh, mechanism mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, there's no uh, uh, violation mm. to, mm. Uh, to personal data, mm. there's no violation to uh, corporate data, okay. uh, and so on. That mm. we, we are well aware. <coughs> the corporate, do they realize this? Do they realize of what the government is trying to do? Uh, I, I think it's getting better and better. Mm. Uh, uh, this, it, it also depends. Uh, if you mm. talk about big companies, mm. they'll be quicker than SME, mm -hmm. right? Of course, yeah. uh, but but what, uh, what is uh, dangerous mm. is that, uh, as I mentioned before, we are living in a networking world. Mm. Okay, yeah, yes. so it hits at the soft spot or mm. the weak spot, mm -hmm. but it can spread to 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 those who mm. seem to be strong, mm. right? right? So uh, it's vulnerability that we are talking about of the mm. whole system. Mm -hmm. So all in all, this uh, this cyber security act is so important. Thailand must have it. We need it, right? Uh, we need this uh, this well, act. Well, uh, if we want to protect our society. Mm -hmm. uh, if we want to protect our national uh, critical information infrastructure, mm -hmm. uh, and and this is a, a an important phrase that needs explanation. Mm -hmm. When I talk about CII or critical, critical information uh, yes. infrastructure, uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, we are not talking about computer system alone. Yeah, but we are talking about the electricity. Mm -hmm. We are talking about the the tap water uh -huh. that you are using. We are talking about your bank accounts. Mm -hmm. uh, we are talking about the energy system, mm -hmm. uh, the rail system, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. or, or even the public health that I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. These are big infrastructure, mm -hmm. or, or we can sort of call it CI, mm -hmm. critical, yeah, inf critical infrastructure. Right. However, when we talk about CII, <coughs> one must recognize the fact that the electricity that we are consuming in every household today mm -hmm. Uh, those who generate this mm. kind of power, uh, may it be the generating uh, authority, MWA, yes. uh, uh. or may it be the distribution uh, authority, uh, uh. they all use computers, whether you like it or uh, not. Uh, uh. They, all, uh, they also have a lot of network, computer uh, networks, uh, uh. telecommunications network, and so on. What we are afraid is that uh, one day when cyber attack hit those computers that belong to the electricity authority, then it affects our everyday life. Mm -hmm. Okay, So mm -hmm. this is what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. okay. So by having this act, uh, is it protecting not only domestically, but from foreign... Uh, well, you, if you talk about cyber attacks, it comes uh, from nowhere. No, uh, we don't know. Well, yeah, uh, we don't know. And by the time we know, it has arrived. Mm. So uh, it's very important. And, and the other very useful part of this law mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. it provides us with the legal structure mm -hmm. so that we can get prepared. To get prepared for this. Right? Uh -huh. uh, uh, before the attack, during attack, mm -hmm. and even after the fact mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. it has been attacked, mm -hmm. how we can uh, do uh, the the inspection mm -hmm. uh, of of the damage, mm -hmm. uh, how we can trace back uh, the root cause of where it came from, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, so so this is very scientific, I know, I know, uh, yeah. but but Pre it requires a lot of collaboration. Uh, so presently, we already implement this. Well, the law has passed the uh, yes. national legislative uh, assembly uh -huh. already, yes. uh, and it it now awaits a uh, royal uh, endorsement. Uh -huh. and, and once that's complete, uh, then the law becomes effective, uh -huh. uh, and uh, 
there are so many things to do, but mm. we cannot wait for, for the effective mm. uh, law. We are mm. now start to work now to mm. prepare uh, mm. a number of things mm. that the law empowers us to, to do. Mm. For example, uh, we, we are now uh, in the prep, uh, preparation stage uh, to establish the National Cyber Security Agency. Yeah. Oh, that would be agency, be agency. Spe particularly. A special agency. Ah, right? However, uh, this agency alone is uh, insufficient. Mm -hmm. So the law uh, also uh, point to the fact that it has to work uh, hand in hand with sectoral uh, cyber teams. Mm. Okay. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, that we have discussed uh, before. Uh, yes, there will be a public, oh, public health, health team, there will be uh, energy uh, team, uh, uh, banking and financial team, and so uh, on. Okay. Uh, so this law is very comprehensive, uh -huh. and it, it sort of have a mechanism to, to make sure that uh, the, the whole system uh, work together. Uh, because, again, we are living in a networking world. There are some uh, laymen to think talk about this and asking about this whether oh, they would love to know actually that uh, how it's going to be done once this the act has been implemented what is the, the lay people or, or I mean the SMEs or something how do they work is there anything change or anything uh, they have to do by themselves I mean with uh, they have to change the computer they have to go under the what you call the um, class to learn about it or anything or just just sit there well I would say of course it's good to know oh. uh, as far as what they need to do mm -hmm. it depends on what they are doing mm -hmm. right if they are very uh, heavy in uh, in terms of using uh, computerization yeah. uh, having a lot of clients mm -hmm. connected to mm -hmm. them uh, uh, even mm -hmm. uh, providing uh, uh, apps for their commercial uh, mm. Uh, mm. venture, mm. well, they 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 need to look it at uh, where the where mm. where it's needed in terms of the security measure. Mm. Okay, mm. Uh, and and uh, in 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 this day of uh, digital age, uh, whether you are big or whether you are small, mm. to 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 have a glimpse of what. Uh, what it is, oh, it is. You know, and yeah. what it should be, mm. and how to react to it. Mm -hmm. uh, in 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 terms of SME, they, mm. they may also look at uh, what environment they are operating in, mm -hmm. and uh, what's where where are the soft spots, where are the mm. risks, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if uh, those soft spots need mm -hmm. to mm. have mm. Uh, some more uh, beef up security, mm. so mm -hmm. be it. Mm -hmm. Uh, is is better than losing all your data. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. right? Uh. So, so that, there's some investment involved, uh, mm. uh, but but then again, it depends on the nature of the work, mm. uh, and and for big business, mm. well, it's out of question. Yes, uh, they are looking after uh, millions of clients, mm. and they have to make sure that uh, that system mm. must must be strong enough, mm. uh, at least to to be alert very quickly mm. when the attacks uh, uh, arrive or start to arrive. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in some case, they may have to terminate their connectivity mm. so that it would mm. not spread. So mm. there are many, many things that we have to understand. Uh, and and that's, that's why there is a need uh, to have the so-called uh, cyber agency. Mm -hmm. So that apart from protecting, mm. they also will have a mandate to uh, leverage the, the knowledge and mm -hmm. the understanding of the public at large as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. How many levels of the cyber threat have been uh, categorized under the Cyber Act? Yes. Well, uh, according to the law, we have uh, classified uh, the, the level into mm -hmm. three. Okay. Uh, depending on the intensity and the severity uh -huh. uh, of, of the incident. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Ranging from uh, 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 a typical uh, attack mm. uh, to the level of uh, uh, quite severe. Mm. Okay. Mm. And to the level of critical. There quite are three severe. levels. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, typical. Typical. typical Quite severe, severe and critical. Critical. Okay. okay. Let me start from critical. Please do. If it's something that we discussed earlier, mm -hmm. uh, the part of the society or 
the majority of the financial system mm. has been under attack. Mm -hmm. Well, that's mm -hmm. quite critical, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, or the the infrastructure, uh, as we mentioned, or mm -hmm. the public health. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, in in that case, we are talking about mm -hmm. uh, incident that can cause uh, societal damage. Mm -hmm that can cause lives, mm. that can cause the, uh, the crippling of the country, okay? Or even the airlines, the aviation, mm. okay? Mm. That has to be taken care of swiftly and with uh, the 100% effectiveness, mm -hmm. okay? So according to this law, this mm. is the highest level mm. that we talk about mm. cybersecurity mm -hmm. and uh, it will be handled by... This is so important. Can mm. I come back for a second part? Please? Sure. Okay. So we are coming back to the end of the first part of our interview. So next, uh, Minister uh, Digital uh, Economy and Society will explain more details of this important law. Please stay tuned. Good foods. Good life. The land of smiles. This is Thailand. My home, your home. Our home, our country, stronger together. Once again to our program, now we will discuss other aspects on the Cyber Security Act. Uh, Minister, will you please continue uh, with the uh, uh, levels, okay. so important levels of the cyber threats. Okay, we, we, we discuss about the critical level, yes, which is the higher, highest level. Yes. And uh, as I mentioned, it's a level that can create a lot of damages mm -hmm. to uh, property, to so. lives, mm -hmm. uh, or to national systems. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, in that case, uh, we, we, we uh, uh, transfer the responsibility to the National Security Council. Mm. Why? Mm. Because once that happens, it's not just digital. No. You have yeah. to manage a lot mm. of things. Mm. And uh, uh, the, the cybersecurity agency alone is not enough, mm. right? So, so that is that quite clear. Uh -huh. okay? uh, at the... At the second level, mm -hmm. uh, where mm -hmm. where it's very intensive mm -hmm. in terms of the cyber uh, activities and incidents, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we we are talking about the the agency under the National Cyber Security Committee, chaired mm -hmm. by the Prime Minister, Prime Minister uh -huh. right? Uh, will order uh, uh, to for actions, right? And uh, the people who will take those orders would be the, the staff uh, that have been designated by, at the Prime the, Minister. By, by the Prime Minister and by, by the agency itself. Okay. Okay? So in the name of the agency yes, would uh, go out and do whatever they needs to be done, mm. uh, you know, to inspect, mm. uh, to, to look into uh, where the traffic uh, is flowing mm. and to ask for the termination of mm. some of the traffic so mm. that the infection mm -hmm. would not spread, mm -hmm. uh, things like that, mm -hmm. uh, as well as to collect evidence mm -hmm. to find uh, the root cause, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but this uh, can be done only through court orders, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, be at peace, okay? We are not, we are not gonna do it uh, by ourselves. Okay. We will get the court to consider it first, okay. and if it's uh, reasonable, then uh, we will be permitted to uh -huh. enter the uh -huh. premise 
uh, of whatever that needs to be inspected. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, as far as the the uh, the mm -hmm. uh, the common mm -hmm. uh, attack, which does is not as harmful mm -hmm. as the rest, uh, then the the uh, the committee uh, will authorize again the mm -hmm. staff of the. Uh, so council to 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 handle to that, handle that mm -hmm. and uh, by handling it mm -hmm. uh, there'll be a formal request mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. to the individual or to the company that mm -hmm. please this is happening can mm -hmm. we go together and check it check mm -hmm. it out mm -hmm. okay so mm -hmm. so and 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 this is uh, very transparent uh, mm -hmm. there's nothing that uh, we do that would violate uh, human rights mm -hmm. or violate uh, data of the uh, privacy mm -hmm. that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. In hearing this uh, act, uh, Cyber Security Act, which is so good and so safe, I mean, as a, as a person who listened to that, but there are some company conglomerates or uh, big companies in Thailand also other concern to show off the concern about this, that uh, their inside uh, data information to mm. be revealed at in free hand mm -hmm. under the hands of the yeah. legislature. Well, well, months ago we, mm -hmm. we heard that as well, uh. and uh, we we invited all those who have concerns oh, uh, right. to work with us Aye, in nice. in checking uh, each article of the law oh, right. uh, where where they think is infringing mm -hmm. on on their on, on their property pro or, or uh. on their privacy or uh. on their trade secrets. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, 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 before I get into detail, all have been ironed out. Mm, okay, all, right. all, all concerns Smooth now. have have been ironed out. Uh -huh. but, but to be specific, uh, we if if they're so afraid that government officials mm. will do something wrong, mm. okay, in the law itself mm. there are certain clauses that prohibit uh, mm. government officials mm. who who go into these premises, mm. okay, mm. to to snatch the data. Oh. Or even with intention, okay. or or with uh, without intention, there are penalty. The pen there are penalty. Yeah, for okay, for the government the officials. Against the itself. Yes. I see. For the government officials. Legal okay, so right. that's uh, 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 number one. Uh. Uh, okay, so so that they they will be. They can sue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, especially in the severe case, there must be court order. Mm. Okay. So that sort of uh, leverage the, the 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 need to go in as well as the transparency mm -hmm. of the reason to go in, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and and that uh, uh, should be a, a good buffer, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. for the That's officials right. to mm -hmm. to move mm -hmm. in whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest are uh, business as usual. Mm -hmm. For the business itself, once there's there's virus in the computer system, mm -hmm. they must do something. Mm -hmm. This is the same thing, okay? okay? And, yeah. and I think this is public education that we need to do more uh -huh. uh, so that they understand that the standard operating procedure is something that we can discuss mm -hmm. in details. Mm -hmm. Even after this law, uh -huh. there's still some homework mm -hmm. in details that we need to work together mm -hmm. uh, in collaboration, mm -hmm. okay? Like, mm -hmm. as I mentioned, mm -hmm. standard operating procedure. Mm -hmm. Once it happened at this level, at that level, Okay, at this, at this uh, premise, uh -huh. at this proximity, mm -hmm. uh, what do we do? So mm -hmm. there's still some homework left to do, but okay. the principle is sound. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. uh, as far as uh, I'm concerned, uh, we have discussed not only with the private sector, we have even discussed with the foreign associations. Mm, I was about to ask about right. international yeah, standards. The international communities uh -huh. in Thailand. Uh, who have expressed some concerns m months ago again, ah. and and we have discussion and we have, I think, ironed out at at least uh, to to those critical points that they are very concerned. Because then again, you know, uh, it's not the government objective to mm. to try to control everything. Exactly, we need to do business mm. with mm. our international partners. Mm. So why would we try mm. to create uh, mm. some laws that mm. uh, they they think would be too harsh? No. That's mm. not the point, mm. but to secure uh, the, the the security of, of, uh, of uh, even the foreign property uh, in Thailand uh, is something that we will look after uh -huh. through this law. Okay, okay? Mm. so it would be benefit not 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 only for the Thai communities but also the foreign communities in Thailand as mm. well. 
So with, with, with that uh, state of mind, I think mm. that's why we, we have amicably mm. uh, discussed over the past many months. Mm. And that's why it has came down to the fact that the, uh, the Legislative Assembly, mm. uh, once again, uh, before passing it, yeah. they seriously scrutinized mm. every article of mm. that law. Of course, uh, yeah. Some adjustment, uh -huh. uh, and, and, and I think it, it's, it's, the it's the whole process that we have gone through that I think we make this law very healthy uh -huh. and very useful for everyone uh -huh. and uh, 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 terminate or uh, reduce uh, to the minimum those concerns that they have. Uh -huh. They may be concerned because of it passed during this period. Well, <laughs> let, let me also mention that uh, uh, there's some misunderstandings mm. uh, along Please the way do. as yeah. well, yeah. Uh, especially with regard to personal data, mm. uh, privacy, uh, company data, and mm. so on. Uh, apart from what the mechanism, mm. the standard mm. procedure that I mentioned, uh, there's, there's also the compu computer crime law mm. that mm. can address mm. uh, uh, with regard to individual cases. Uh -huh. Uh, company cases. Right. Uh, so, if if you um, uh, look at the contrast between this law, mm. you will at least see that cybersecurity look after mm. the, national the national infrastructure. Uh -huh. Okay, let me put it in a loose sense. Okay, while computer crime law can look uh -huh. and protect the That's individual uh, uh, level. Yes. Okay. okay. So it it goes hand in hand. More than that. We also try to create a good balance, uh, mm. not only for these two laws. Mm. We also have another law, which, by the way, has been passed by the assembly already, mm. uh, called mm. Data Protection Law. Ah, okay, this, this is, is important. yes, this, this is, is to this protect uh, you and me ah. uh, from some someone who use our data without mm. our consent uh -huh. and use data with with. Uh, uh, in excessive of the objectives mm -hmm. that we allow them to do. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you see all these laws are hand in hand and mm -hmm. uh, uh, converge uh, so that the digital economy mm -hmm. in Thailand mm -hmm. would be well guarded, mm -hmm. okay, both uh, individually mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, at the mm -hmm. national mm -hmm. level mm -hmm. and to protect the hu human rights as well as the uh, everyday data Daily that we are uses. using. Mm. Since we have a lot of our audience in foreign countries, so could you give some examples of international standard approaches to ensure security of the country's critical infrastructure in other countries, including the Cyber uh, Security Act? Well, uh, again, let, let me address all yeah. the three laws uh, that uh, I mentioned okay. because it's going to be very well balanced. Uh, According th this law is not using only domestic. Is apply for all, right? For uh, international, uh, for cyber wherever, security. Cyber security uh, right. Of course, it, it has to be applied to Thailand. To Thailand only. Okay. okay. To Thailand. Uh, uh, however, we don't know where the attacks come from. Okay. Okay. Yes, so we course. have to uh, act accordingly. Uh, uh, as far as uh, the data protection mm. law is mm. concerned, mm. international standards mm. have been referenced. Mm. in the course of drafting this law. For example, mm. the GDPR, mm. which is the European, the EU, the EU uh, yeah. uh, uh, data protection law. Uh, yes. okay. uh -huh. uh, we reference that, that law, uh, and that law has already been effective uh, since last year. Mm. Right? Mm. Uh, we also reference the APEC mm. CBPR mm -hmm. uh, mm. on data protection mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. okay. so, so this is international in a way, mm -hmm. okay, not just domestic. Okay. As far as the cyber security law is concerned, uh, we look into many models, okay. There's a Singapore model, mm -hmm. there's, a, uh, there's a European, European model, uh, uh, and, and so on, okay. Uh -huh. uh, and the principle must, must be common, okay, right, to protect uh, to national security uh -huh. and so on, right. Mm -hmm. But the details can be slightly different, okay? Some country may have assigned their agency under a certain ministry. Uh, within our jurisdiction, we mm. have the Ministry of Digital. Mm. Some countries don't have Ministry of Digital. Mm. So these mm. are the details mm. that uh, one has to look at their own the local one, context. Yeah, the right? one. 
Okay. Yeah. So, so uh, we have Thainess. Yes. Well, in <laughs> brief, I'll say that uh, this is a Thai law, mm. but is up to the international standards. Mm. Mm. Okay. Very interesting. So, uh, in case that a person has suffered damage from the results of the order related to the handling of the cyber threat, what he or she can do? Well, again, if you talk about cyber security law, it has less to do with individual. How do they report? They, are, they go to who? If they get into trouble? So a company, not a big company. The happening between them oh, and certainly them. Well, they, 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 they can uh, inform or request or seek assistance from the National Cyber Security Agency. National Cyber Security, Certainly. which is under your Ministry of uh, yes. Cyber, uh, yes. Uh, Digital. Yes, but the Prime Minister is chairing it, okay, uh -huh. because uh, it will involve a lot of ministries. It will involve uh, asking for private uh, cooperation yeah. and so on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Countries uh, having this protective mechanism, mm -hmm. otherwise once it has a uh, side effect uh, to their economic mm. development, mm -hmm. to human Indeed. lives, mm -hmm. who's going to be responsible? Who's going to be responsible yeah. without the law mm -hmm. and without the agency that mm -hmm. are responsible? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about okay. ASEAN friends? Do they well, have we, such we, law? we have been discussing with our ASEAN friends, okay. and uh, in common is okay. that every everyone if I may, uh, mm -hmm. see the needs to have uh, this kind of mechanism. Mm -hmm. And moreover, uh, to, to collaborate, uh, mm -hmm. once uh, attacks uh, come in to mm -hmm. any member, we certainly can share information so that uh, you know, others uh, would not have to be infected mm -hmm. or, or would be aware mm -hmm. and, and start to mm -hmm. uh, switch on their protective gear mm -hmm. rather quickly mm -hmm. rather than you know getting hit yeah, getting and then hit and then do yes yeah. it, it, it was i remember the th last time that we got affected in the world we were so frightening but nobody can could do anything everything like sit down and you are you are saying work. helpless Helpless, <laughs> you the words. Uh, That's why we need the law. Then, because of that um, situation, that led that, to that the. There will be more and more situations. Mm. Uh, uh, most countries, if not all, have been attacked mm. on a daily basis. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's not get into too deep. Uh, mm -hmm. But but mm -hmm. let me just say that uh -huh. the nature mm. of this uh, globalization is 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 something that we have to accept yeah. and mm. face the consequence mm -hmm. uh, and be prepared. Okay. Uh, and and, and, and I, I look at it from a positive point of view that mm. uh, we are protecting our livelihood, we are protecting our property, mm. national property. Mm. We have the right to do uh, so. Yes, and mm. we are uh, protecting uh, uh, the everyday life of the citizens. Mm. Mm. So uh, it's a good thing. Yeah. So mm. now coming to our business. So how important of this Cybersecurity Act to Thailand 4.0 vision of building the digital economy? Well, as the country moves toward uh, 4.0, as the country moves toward mm -hmm. uh, digital economy, mm -hmm. there'll be more and more uh, digital literacy, there'll be more and more uh, digital utilization, the penetration rate of internet, mm -hmm. the commercialization uh, through online trading, uh, the social service through mm. uh, mm. uh, mm. uh, e-health, uh, digital mm. health, mm. Uh, and uh, public uh, service, public transactions. Mm. So all these are increasing in numbers, no. in okay. quantity. quantity uh, yeah. uh, we have to make sure that the qualitative aspect needs to be addressed as well. Mm. And part of the qualitative aspect is to protect the network. Mm. is to mm. protect the infrastructure, mm -hmm. is mm. to protect the healthcare mm. system of the country, mm. and so on. Mm. And this is exactly what we are doing. Uh, we also address and make sure that this law does not violate whatever Rights. concerns yes. Yes, that the society has. So let's be assured that the intention is there, but moreover, the actual uh, drafting of the law is uh, realistic mm. and is uh, prudent mm. enough mm. Uh, to not only protect the society but also protect the citizens and the corporations as well. 
Thank you so much, sir, and uh, wish you all the best of this heavy and hard business. Thank you. <laughs> We're ending up our uh, program with thanks to Dr. Pichet Duronga Road, Minister of Digital Economy and Society. We are greatly appreciated for your coming here, sir, and please come back and tell us more. Thank you. We're ending up our program with thanks, and we look forward to see you again and hope to enjoy the show then. <laughs>